Tereri o Mata Aho. This is a Puraka of how Auckland's volcanoes were created. Long ago, what we now call Auckland was flat. There were no volcanoes around like there is today. No humans lived here. Only the Patupai, Arihi and the Tudahu. These creatures are what we call fairies. Not little sparkly things with wings. They were big, tall and very strong. The Patupai and the Tudahu did not like each other. The tribes lived on opposite sides of Auckland. Patupai Arihi in the west and Tudahu in the south. The, the young Patupai loved to play a game called Hupukinga, Dark Run. They played this on dark, moonless nights. They would sneak out of their houses to run to the Tudahu as quickly as they could and return with the treasure that they stole. In the Patupai Arihi tribe lived a boy named Hui, who was very well liked, very handsome and was important to the tribe because he was the chief's son. One night, after playing Hupukinga, Hui returned without any treasure, and everyone laughed at him. The next time they played Hupukinga, he was determined to find the most precious treasure that the Tudahu had. And so, the next time that dark run took place, Hui did not return. Everyone was worried about him. Days later, Hui returned with the treasure. Her name was Waidere, and she was extremely important to the Tūruhu because she was the daughter of the chief, the most treasured Tuanga. When the Tūruhu found out she was with Hui, they were ready, angry. So ready, they all gathered the next morning and declared Pakana against the Patupairehe. They gathered a war party of the strongest warriors and set off across the Tamaki Plain. The Tohanga, highest priests of Waitakere, watched him coming from south. When the warriors were close, the Tohanga took magic hidden deep in earth and cast spells on them. Rocks and earth magic were flung across the Whenua land. Several of the people fell and couldn't continue, but many still kept on marching. The priests dug deeper and deeper into the earth and suddenly a huge deep crack opened up across Auckland. When the ground cracked open, Mata Aho, guardian of earthquakes and volcanoes, was awakened from his mind. He was greedy that people were fighting above him and that his home had been reached by the tournament. <laughs> Ko ira i puki kawa, te tūere i o manga fo. Ma ara he rutu pū puki, tau tapa au rongo taki taki. Te hei mauri o la. Mata aho flung earth magic and large boulders into the air, and he melted them before they touched the ground. He created several volcanic eruptions. Everyone fled for their lives. The volcanoes are a barrier between the two tribes, and they never corridored again. In the chaos of the battle, Hui and Waidere ran away together in love, never to be seen again. 